Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name is Mike. In this tutorial, I want to talk to you about creating your own theme in Hexo. Up until this point in this course, we've looked at creating content and we've looked at installing external themes. So you can go out to the themes gallery and, and install whatever theme you want to use. But what happens if you want to make your own theme? Right? What happens if you're somebody that wants to get their hands dirty and you want to go in and modify the HTML and you want to control essentially every piece of code that's on your website? In order to do that, you need to create your own custom theme. And in this video, I'm going to show you just the bare basics of creating that theme. And then in future videos, we're going to talk about customizing that theme and making it look good and accessing all sorts of variables and functions and all that. But for now, let's just create a basic theme. You want to come over to this themes folder. In my case, I already have a theme in here. This is the theme that I got by default from Hexo. And to create our own theme, we're just going to make a new folder and I'll call this GA theme. It will stand for Draft Academy theme. Now inside of this GA theme, we need to create a bunch of files and a couple folders um, it, that the theme is going to need to work. And so just bear with me as I create a bunch of stuff. The first thing we want to make is a file called config.yaml. And this will be the config file for our theme. In addition to the config.yaml file, we want to make a few folders. One is going to be languages. And we're going to make another folder called layout. We'll make another folder called scripts. And then one more folder is going to be called source. So all of these folders are going to play a specific role in our theme and they're all really important. So you want to make sure that you include them in this directory here. And so now that we've created all of these files inside of this new theme folder, there's one more thing that we need to do, which is go down here to this config.yaml file and we're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom and there should be a variable here called theme. And I just want to replace what's here by default with our new theme name, which is GA theme. And now when we actually, you also, whenever you modify this config.yaml file, you want to make sure that you restart your Hexo server. So I'm restarting the Hexo server. Now when I come over here and I refresh this page, instead of all of this stuff showing up, we should hopefully just get a blank page. And what that'll mean is that we're, we stopped using this landscape theme and we're now using the GA theme, which is blank. And when I refresh the page, that's exactly what happens. So we have uh, no information here. We have an entirely naked blank theme that we can start to create content on. In the next few videos of this course, I'm going to talk about how you can create content for this theme. We're going to talk about the different types of content that we can create for this theme. And ultimately, we're just going to get more in depth into creating this theme. So stick around for all that. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you want to help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.